U.S. media has done everything it can, U.S. corporate media, to generate consent and provide political space for Israel to commit these atrocities. It started with a narrative after October 7th that erased the attacks on military bases inside Israel and decontextualized the 15-year-long siege of Gaza and made it appear to Americans as if history began on October 7th. And from there, with a U.S. public that had absorbed this crisis in a decontextualized, ahistorical manner, uh, the U.S. gave Israel the green light to carry out the atrocities that we're seeing right now as Al-Shifa Hospital comes under siege and attack and small infants are taken off incubators, ICU patients are left to die. This was the inevitable consequence. So the U.S. media and Western media in general gave Israel all the space it needed to carry out the worst atrocity of our time, something that I think is tantamount to genocide.